Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquez of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And we're using this place, Ketsi, of La Beach Hotel. We're very grateful to them. And may God bless their, their work and increase um, their um, popularity and increase their business. Now, this morning, I'll, I'd like to just capture um, my thoughts with the word C against C. So the, two C's against each other. That's just what I would like to call him. And I, I'm, I'm reading the story of um, Esau and Jacob. I mean, Esau and Jacob. You know, Esau is a very interesting person. Of course, I mean, as for as for Jacob, in our local language, we would say he's Ubu, Ubu, you know what I mean? He's a top man. He's, he's Igwe of, you know, chicanery and skaldaggery, you know. But, 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 but here's the uh, there's there's a story there, and the stories, um, you know, Esau was very hungry, and uh, Joseph had prepared some broth, and uh, Esau comes to Jacob and said, "Boy, brother, I mean twins, and brother, but Esau is the firstborn, and uh, Esau says, brother, I'm very very hungry, and I really need to eat." And then Jacob said, "Well, I got food, but you're hungry, but you know, he told Esau that I got food, but you got a blessing, and uh, he got it, and." Um, uh, Esau made a statement. He said, "What benefit would be a blessing to me? What benefit to be a birthright to me if I, I'm hungry and die? It's not going to be of no use to me. I'm hungry now. Satisfy my hunger now. You get it. Satisfy my hunger now, and uh, we'll talk about this. You can take the, the blessing. There were two principles that were at stake there: convenience and conviction." Convenience is born out of a necessity to survive. Convenience is born out of expediency. Convenience, it is convenient for me. It's expedient for me. It is easier, it is the easier path. It is the shortcut. It is the path without sweat. It is the path that I can, I can take. And uh, you know, after all, the end justifies the means. Now for Esau, he had a choice. A choice of convenience. Eat, you get it, and be full today. And later on in the evening, go to the bathroom. Go and sit, go and sit on the throne. And, and, and that was Esau. But Esau cherished convenience above conviction. The conviction was a birthright. The conviction was, convictions are based upon principles instilled in us either by experience, by tutelage, or, you know, by revelation. By experience, by tutelage, or by revelation. And, and, and so, I mean, Esau was, 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 uh, Kind of, he, he had two C's dangling before him. Conviction, born out of principle. Convenience, the easy way out. And he chose convenience. What a choice. And what a price he paid for it. He held in disdain a birthright. Something that God had given to him. Something that, God, that brings blessing. Something that is, going to, that is going to give him more than what he just ate that day. How, how, how easy it is for us sometimes, you know, just for the convenience of today, we sacrifice the comfort of tomorrow. Sometimes just for the convenience of today, we sacrifice, we sacrifice the, the covenant blessing of tomorrow. Just for our convenience, come on. Now, Esau paid the price. That thing he did, how he despised principle, he, de he despised conviction. And chose convenience. All oh, these days, you, you see, it's, it's all happens. People are just, uh, in, in, I mean, in, including the kingdom, including the kingdom of God. People are choosing the easy way out. One man said, one man said, if you're going to do ministry, and you're going to do ministry uh, with conviction and com principles. You're going to be hungry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is not right. Conviction is very, very powerful. Con convenience turns the truth into, into a lie. Conven convenience turns the, uh, what, the right thing to be done into evil. Convenience, convenience throws away principles. Convenience throws away things that are that righteousness. It throws away good judgment. It throws away justice. 
Convenience throws all those things away. But conviction holds on to it. Conviction says, I know this principle I have learned, either by revelation, by experience, or by tutelage. Every one of us will, have, will come to a place where we'll have choices. And those choices are, it, this is convenient. It is easy. It is the shortcut. Or, I'm going to walk by conviction. Sometimes, the people who walk the path of conviction are held in disdain, as if they don't know anything. People who refuse to take the shortcut. People who refuse to go consult occult, the occult, in order to, uh, in order to uh, aggregate power of whatever it is, to go and do something. People who, re who refuse to, to give false testimonies, just to impress crowds. You get it? People who do that, sometimes they say, this guy is no wise. He's no wise. He's no wise as a serpent. Yes, Bible says we should be wise as a, as a serpent, or must be harmless as a dove. Conviction or convenience always remains your choice. Esau made that choice, paid a heavy price for it. If you choose the path of convenience today, tomorrow there's a price you have to pay for it. And you didn't factor it into the equation of your convenience. You didn't factor it in. But your narrative is going to involve the price you paid for your convenience. Choices are always yours. See you later.